Aino Ojobo Street houses the Ifako Ejayi local council headquarters in Ogba, Lagos. Now, the people claim that they donated a plot of land to the council to build a secretariat with the hope of rapid development. In reality, it's a different ball game. Join us. Aino Ojobo Street of Yaya Bato, Ifako Ejayi is quite a narrow but busy street with trading activities along most parts of the road. In spite of the presence of the local council headquarters on the street, the state of the road is, to say the least, very appalling. <laughs> Untarred and undulating from the beginning, and it gets worsened towards the end of the road. Cars barely take the route for fear of getting stuck. There are several other adjoining streets along Aino Ojobo, such as Odupe, Adebi, Ebun, Omibi, Oluatuni, Oladele. Unfortunately, they are all in the same condition. Not one is tarred and the users are taking in the heat daily. I just wanted to buy a drug here. So I just for cough. Then I left home, I had the touch light with this left hand and money with this. So as I reached here, I stumbled here. Wow, whoa. So since that time, I've started, since Ju July 10. While the road poses a threat to the users, environmental sanitation is off the radar as heaps of unevacuated dumps litter the streets. The whole place is full of rubbish. If you go inside the streets, you see there is abandoned. Nobody give us the, the waste disposal uh, vehicle to come and collect it. So that's the one. There is no uh, uh, cleaner, you know, the street cleaner for this area at all. They only operate in the main road. And the only that's the our problem in all you see market both left and right here, there is nothing that we enjoy in this area except coming to collect our money. Land use everything in this area. No nothing. The reason the landlords are vexed is that they allegedly donated the parcel of land to the local council to build a secretariat with the hope that development will come to them quickly, but the reverse is the case. We wrote a letter to the Lagos State Government. In fact, when, uh, when uh, uh, Shinobu came to campaign for his second term in office, he came here in front of this building. He declared the building open. And we now told him that he should look at this street. The address here is Ainoa Jobo Street. They don't have any other uh, street name, Ainoa Jobo Street. And nothing is done on this street. Then he looked at it, he said, oh, if you vote for me massively for this second, uh, for my second coming, you can, you, you can be too sure that this road will be tired. He went away. We voted massively for him. He became the, 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 the second time governor of Lagos State. Throughout that four years, we keep on going to Alausa, nothing. I have the, the letters are here. The appeal for intervention, so I know Jobo could catch up with modern realities that they have been denied of for a long time. Another major road in the area allegedly awarded for construction by the state government is Abiola Street. The long and winding roads still bears the mark of an abandoned construction site. Uncompleted beams, drainage, and even machinery, including cement mixers. According to the CDA chairman, work has not been done here for the past six years. Uh, I learned that government has paid about 1.2 billion for this abandoned project. And up to now, there's no progress. We, if you look around, a lot of landlords, they've even relocated. 
some of them have even died because this is their means of livelihood. And because government abandoned the project, they cannot, they didn't find it easy to survive. When the project began, the people say they were very excited about what this meant to them and traffic congestion. They hoped for the best, which never came. This road was awarded here 2009, and uh, in conjunction with the Lagos State and uh, Ifakojai local government, at the end of the day, they told us that Ifakojai will not be able to cope with the project, with the huge amount involved. Then the Minister of Works, Lagos State, took over the, the assignment in conjunction with the AY, that is a contractor awarded for the construction work. They started work year 2011. By year 2012, it was abandoned. And we have wrote series of letters to the ministry. We went to the House of Assembly just to make sure that we see those people in charge of infrastructure so they can complete the project. But nothing has been done by that time. We are still appealing to the legal state government to come to our aid. Most especially, you can see we face a lot of problems most especially during the rainy season. The flood, there is no proper drainage, and it's affecting many people here. In fact, many shops were demolished, houses were demolished for the sake of the construction. And the initial stage, the reason why we are soliciting for this road is to link Obawale and the Jushaga to ease the traffic congestion at College Road. But that is our purpose. And you know, if this thing is done, it will boost the economy of the Lagos State by passing through this place. In fact, when you just come from Excellence Hotel, you can pass through this place without going to College Road. That is the aim of the community when we wrote to them that we want this place to be linked to Obawale. So we are still appealing to the Lagos State Government to come to our aid and do this job for us. Plying the road is now a major challenge, especially for the elderly. As an old person, I cannot strike this street again. I cannot go out without a moto or or kada or, or something like that. It has been like this since about nine years ago. They demolish all the houses in respect that they are going to do it. We don't know what's happened. We are appealing to the Lagos State. This Abiola Onijemo is very, very important to this area. You can link this place to Diju. You can go anywhere from this place. We are appealing to them to please find out what is happening, that they don't do it since nine years ago. <laughs> Effort to reach the local council chairman for reactions on these issues is still ongoing and will be brought to you in our subsequent editions. For now, the people feel hurt and pained and would wish that the government makes good its promises to give them a breath of fresh air. Be part of the community of game changers by reporting events as they affect you and your environment. Just record and post on the eyewitness portal at description, location and a contact number. But ensure you first download the channel's TV app, launch, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and then follow instruction on how to upload your story. Now let's see what you already posted for the week. Let's begin with this picture from Saka Owner Road in Niger State, showing an eroded portion of the road. Our eyewitness reporter is calling on the state government to fix it as this poses danger to commuters in the area. Still on bad roads is this image showing a bad spot on Penn Cinema Road by Techno House in Agege, Lagos State. According to our eyewitness reporter, cars always get stuck at the spot. He's calling on the Lagos State Ministry of Works or public works to come to attend to it. Next shot is Durumi 2 in Gariki, Abuja, showing an electricity cable almost touching the roof of a house. Our eyewitness reporter raises concern over the danger this poses and wants the agency responsible to intervene. This picture from Kaba in Kogi State shows a falling trailer in the middle of the road. According to our eyewitness reporter, the vehicle has been there for over a week. He's calling on the agency responsible, including the FRSC, to remove it and keep users safe. 
Next is this image of a primary school in Akbar, local government area of Delta State. A eyewitness reporter says the condition of the school shows the poor state of education in the country. Is asking the federal government to do something about it. This final photo is from Rumola Road in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. A eyewitness reporter says it is an appalling sight and a health hazard to residents and passers-by. Is calling on the ministry concerned to save the city. Those are your shots to keep them coming. Eyewitness Report makes a return next week. Till then, I'll keep my eyes on you. Bye-bye.